from Ido, we uh, sailed um, out of the archipelago um, and into the Baltic um, to make a direct um, passage uh, to the south of Stockholm uh, and the entrance into the uh, channel up to uh, Soditale. Perhaps now would be a good juncture uh, to talk uh, about the boat. Uh, uh, Oleander is a, a Westley Conway, 36 foot long, catched rigged. Ideal for the English Channel and indeed the North Sea. Um, unfortunately, as I was soon to found, find out, uh, it needs a few adaptations uh, for the Baltic. Uh, a bow platform would be useful um, to help in stepping off the boat and onto uh, rocks, rocky ledges. Also, a uh, some sort of reel in the stern to wind in and out the uh, anchor stern. things that uh, really strikes you about Sweden is the cleanliness. Uh, this was an island, uh, there were well over 50 boats, uh, probably over a hundred people on this island uh, and yet everywhere was spotlessly clean, the loos, the children's playground. Uh, I didn't see one single piece of litter and this was true wherever we went throughout Sweden. I took this photograph because it shows the access for the disabled toilets and this was uh, true of every island. Um, this was an uninhabited island, uh, a nature reserve, uh, the base uh, as I say for the Sodotale Sailing Club. Uh, and yet the facilities were exemplary. channel up the uh, fjord towards Sodotali uh, becomes progressively narrower narrower and um, till eventually you uh, come underneath the bridge at the uh, Vasa uh, boatyard and uh, you are confronted with traffic lights traffic signals um, and you have to obey the international uh, regulations uh, for prevention of collision at sea. I can uh, recommend uh, transiting uh, the lock um, at the weekend um, because uh, with other boats around it certainly helps. Uh, once you're through the single lock uh, you are confronted by a bridge uh, this, the bridge being 13.6 metres high, um, our mast was 13, or our mast is 13.5 metres high, uh, but with the aerial on top, I wasn't willing to take the risk. We therefore
for waited for a good 45 minutes for uh, this uh, bridge to open. Quickly uh, became apparent uh, that the uh, lunchtime anchorage uh, outside my cousin's uh, house uh, was just that uh, a lunchtime anchorage, and uh, with uh, a sea breeze kicking up, um, it was obvious that I had to move. So I quickly raised the anchor brought the uh, tender in on board and hastily made tracks six miles further down the coast. Uh, down the coast is uh, a misnomer because of course we were on a lake, a fresh water lake, uh, incidentally supplying Stockholm with all of its uh, fresh water. So we proceeded uh, six miles to the uh, east and um, came upon uh, this delightful marina called uh, Jungafru Holm Marina, where I was made to feel incredibly welcome um, for the uh, principal sum of 200 uh, Swedish kroner. A night. It was soon time to move on as my cousin had uh, purchased uh, tickets for us to watch a, a diamond athletics match in the centre of Stockholm and so uh, we um, sadly uh, slipped our lines and uh, proceeded um, to enter um, the waterways of uh, Stockholm. I uh, thought this was rather a novel idea um, and wondered uh, indeed uh, how many people would see it until I realised that in the uh, summer months the uh, waterways of Stockholm and indeed Swiss, um, Sweden itself are very much a thoroughfare the um, ferries run rather like uh, buses uh, hop on hop off uh, so essentially it makes a lot of sense I wonder whether anyone watching is thinking of doing the same on the Solent I think it would be rather a nice um, job to uh, motor one of these up and down the Solent the marina at uh, Vastaboro in the uh, centre of uh, Stockholm is naturally uh, very uh, popular with uh, visitors like myself. Unfortunately you are unable uh, to reserve a place so um, working on the principle that the early bird catches the worm I had slipped my lines early 
and had arrived um, at the um, marina at about um, nine o'clock in the morning um, and I was able to, f fortunately I was able to find a spare berth but it, it was it was fairly busy um, it was strange uh, to be back in the hustle and uh, bustle of a cosmopolitan European city uh, but uh, a change is as good as a rest and we were soon at the athletics match uh, enjoying world class um, athletics and indeed we saw a uh, world record broken in the uh, pole vaulting so a good evening was had by all